All right, guys, what I have prepared for you today is a nicely seasoned 885 cylinder head, and we've stuffed it with a fresh ground camshaft, and now we've garnished it with these beautiful sharp peened rocker arms. And now I'm just going to drizzle this beautiful lamb sauce right on there like that. Beautiful, excellent. The flavor coming out of this is just fantastic. Now, this sits atop a fresh OEM head gasket and is ready. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a like pretty B-roll slash educational, more than us like having fun and doing burnouts and stuff. So disclaimer there. Um, we're building the cylinder head today, which is like not only is like engine work my favorite part of cars, but like the cylinder head is just like a work of art to me. It's all these tiny moving parts that move so fast you can't see. And so we're going to be cleaning them, assembling them, and like making everything perfect with our aftermarket parts, which is going to be awesome. So enjoy. <coughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we've escaped from the garage. And we've... <laughs> we've escaped from the garage and we moved into the basement um, for no reason other than it's cold. So we're working on one of my favorite parts of the motor, which is a cylinder head. Um, we're doing, I sent it to the machine shop. They cleaned it for me. They shaved the surface so it's ready for the new gasket and pressure checked it, make sure there's no cracks or anything, and then left me for the fun part, which is like to fully disassemble it, take every moving part out of it, and check to make sure they're good, seat the valves, clean everything, um, seals, we're gonna put a bunch of fun stuff in it. So step one, now that we have all the valves removed, which was kind of a process in itself, we had to get like three different valve spring compressors to get them out, not important. So we have all the valves out on the table and I'm kind of cleaning them as I go and scrubbing off all the carbon buildup that's on them. And uh, once I get them you know, clean enough, then I uh, start lapping them in, which is pretty fun. So uh, lapping or grinding, that's pretty much the same thing. Um, we have this paste that's just kind of an abrasive paste and it goes on the valve seat, which is where the valve contacts the cylinder head and actually makes the seal because you got to think the valve lets air in and then shuts and it has to stay sealed, um, you know, because the engine has lots of compression, lots of air trying to escape. So you get that on there, move it around a little bit. And then you don't really want to have it spinning in the guide dry. So just take some fresh motor oil. Um, the valve guide is just basically a brass bushing that guides the, or the, you know, guides the valve as it moves up and down. So we insert it, push it in, take our stick here, begin the process. So I'm now just making a mess. Uh, <laughs> So I'm taking this tool, which is a suction cup with a stick on it, and I just basically suction it to the valve, and then you just spin it. And as we have the paste on the seat of the valve, it, it just spins it and grinds it in. So each valve has to go exactly where it's been lapped to. There, You can't mix these up. You can mix up like the springs, it doesn't matter, because we have new springs anyways, actually. Um, but this part is actually important. So I did kind of one, one grind. Um, this, the valve looks looks ready to go. It's perfect. There's no pits or burrs or anything on there, and there's a nice uniform ring around it where it's been grinding. And then uh, we're gonna check the you know other half of it, which is the cylinder head, and check for uh, just that even line that we've made where the valve has been worn into the cylinder head, and make sure that there's no pits there or spot you know spots that would cause it to not seal essentially. Uh, it's also very important. This is like super abrasive. That's how it works. You know, it's kind of like sandpaper. It's also quite important to make sure that none of that makes it into the engine. So it kind of does the opposite of what oil does. So that one looks ready to go. Yep, I'm gonna call that one good. The intake valves are a lot easier because they're so much cleaner. Intake valves always stay clean because they have constant 
fuel washing down them as the, you know, fuel is injected and it gets sucked over them. So they stay clean as the exhaust valves get really dirty and exhaust valves have a tough life. They literally just live in fire all the time, just fire blowing over them. So I'm gonna call this one done and ready to go. All right, now done with all the tedious work, which is eh, kind of fun, but it gets old quickly. Lots of just like manual labor. Um, we also got stuck up on an exhaust stud that broke off and I had to weld it like five times to get it out. Finally got it out and did some minor porting and polishing, enlarging the uh, ports a little bit, polishing out any rough spots for better airflow, which is like, I don't know, is it gonna make a difference? I don't know, maybe, but you know, it's like, if we're putting all this money into the head, might as well do it. So now we're on to the fun part. We've got a nice, perfectly cleaned head. Every, all the grinding is done, then we're machine shop stuff. Now we get to actually assemble it with our fun new parts. So we've got all of our valves ready to go that are freshly lapped and sealing perfectly. We've got a whole new set of springs that are 35% stiffer. Uh, so this is gonna allow us to go a little higher uh, in the RPM band without getting valve float, as well as they're just stronger. Some of the stock springs can, they've been known to break sometimes. So first valve goes in. So we've got exhaust valve number six. All right. All right, so we have for comparison, wow, these are much bigger. Uh, this is our old spring. This is our new one. So it's a lot fatter, quite a bit stiffer. So with that, we do have new seats for them to sit on. Well, that's nice. Then, oh, these are pretty. So we went to a couple, we tried basically the two main types of tools to remove and install valves from like the parts store and neither one of them worked just with the shape of the cylinder head. So we ended up using the part from one of them and then this big clamp from Harbor Freight and I welded this on there and uh, it's actually like perfect now. You can tell they're a little bit stiffer too a little more effort on my clamp. Another drop of oil just to keep this stuck to it. That's it. One valve is done. Nice. That's got some tension on it for sure. Oh, now we only have 11 more to go. Perfect, beautiful. And this next shot is gonna be straight B-roll of us sliding in the rocker shafts with all the rocker rings. Okay, now, what I have prepared for you all today is a beautifully seasoned 885 cylinder head and we've stuffed it with a fresh ground camshaft and then we've just garnished it with these beautiful shot peen rocker arms. Wait, I need, the, I need the lamb sauce, I need the lamb sauce, hang on. Okay. And now, I'm just going to drizzle this beautiful lamb sauce right on there like that. Beautiful, excellent. The flavor coming out of this is just fantastic. Now, this sits atop a fresh OEM head gasket and is ready 